Magandang umaga, magandang tanghali at magandang gabi po sa inyong lahat. Ako po ang inyong kaibigan, si Roy Sipolito. Back again dito sa The Kaibigan Podcast, only here at The Kaibigan Network. Maraming maraming salamat po ulit for giving us time. Salamat sa mga videos nyo, sa mga likes, at sa mga messages. Nako, maraming maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat. We are really overwhelmed. Maraming maraming salamat po sa lahat ng mga support nyo sa amin. Broadcasting live mula po sa Stockholm, Sweden. Ako po again si Roy Sipolito dito lang sa The Kaibigan Network. Yes, mga kaibigan, ako maraming maraming salamat. Nagbabalik po tayo. Kamusta na tayo lahat dyan? Mga kaibigan natin mula po sa Middle East, uh, sa mga kung saan-saan pa. Wait, nagkakaroon tayo ng feedback. Mahirap to, mahirap to. Ladies and gentlemen, ako. Maraming maraming salamat again. Ako, alam nyo kung maraming nagtatanong sa akin, bakit ako mahilig magpasalamat agad. But kasi, uh, I am very grateful kasi talaga po sa lahat po ng mga supportan nyo po sa amin. Yes, mga kaibigan. At nagbabalik po tayo dito sa The Kaibigan Network. Uh, broadcasting live mula po sa Stockholm, Sweden. Maraming maraming salamat. It's October 18. At uh, kami po ay um, nandito sa Stockholm. Malamig. Nahanap pa rin namin yung comment pero paulat pa si dito. So wala tayong magagawa dito. <laughs> yes, mga kaibigan. Maraming maraming salamat. Okay. So... Uh, ano ba pwede natin gawin ngayon? Marami tayong mga balita ngayon for our ten, uh, for special episode po natin na galito. At uh, meron akong na-discovery na isang sabi na natin senior citizen na nagbablog sa YouTube. Pinuntahan niya yung Jollibee UK, yung sa Leicester Square. Uh, we will make a reaction on that one. Um, and then of course, introduce natin so supportan rin natin yung mga taong galito kasi Maganda, magandang feedback yung ginagawa niya na yun. Uh, this is, would be like, kumbaga, parang a good chance para mag-improve ang mga Philippine products and services natin na pwede natin tong maging future yung mga export natin na ganyan. So, ladies and gentlemen, again, join us after a few reminders only here at the Kaibigan Podcast. because they're fluffy, funny, and fabulous. These big, fluffy furballs are the comedians of the cat world. Picture a cat that's part lion, part teddy bear, and part stand-up comedian. Maine Coons come in a rainbow of colors, from classic tabby to stunning silver, and even tortoise shell. They're always dressed to impress. Ever seen a cat play fetch? Yep, Maine Coons do that. And their chirps and trills? It's like they're practicing for a cat opera. And let's not forget those tufted ears. It's like they've got their own built-in earmuffs. Got a sink? A Maine Coon will find it and claim it as their personal lounge. These cats are also known for their love of water. Baths? Not a problem. Whether they're lounging in the sun, chasing imaginary mice, or cuddling up with their humans, Maine Coons are the epitome of quirky and cute. So if you want a cat that's equal parts adorable and hilarious, the Maine Coon is your perfect companion. Why do 80% of cats Yes, mga kaibigan ito, nako, ayan. Uh, isa natin tong mga Stop ignoring ginger. Wait, wait, wait. Stop wait, wait, ayan. Uh, kasi po um, tayo po kasi ay um, mahilig sa pusa. So, <laughs> yes. Um, actually po maraming yan, uh, even pa- cats, dogs, uh, reptiles, maraming po tayong naging pets. Noon, ang problema lang po kasi dito sa Sweden kasi is uh, space. 
at maraming regulations. Dito po kasi sa Sweden is, uh, if you have a dog, regardless ang size, you're not allowed to leave it alone for more than four hours. Yes po. That's true. That's true. So, uh, ang problema doon ay, uh, so, meron pa kami dito na tinatawag namin parang dog, dog uh, kindergarten or dog daycare. So, yun ang tawag hundagis. At, um, it costs a lot of money as well to leave a dog there. Tsaka, problema rin dito kasi. So, ang dog kasi, hindi katulad ng pusa na titrain sa paggamit ng CR. So, hindi mo siya maasahan, kailangan mo ilabas. Lalo na kung lalaking dog. Pero masarap sanang alagaan ng dog. Problema nga lang, marami. Ano. Pero mo, umuulan, mag snow kahit anong weather. At meron sa gabi, may oras yan eh, yung pagpunta niya ng CR sa labas. So, whether you like it or not, kailangan mong magbihis, lumabas, regardless of the weather. Eh, medyo mahirap yan, mga kaibigan. Tutuusin mo. Unlike cats, <laughs> yes, unlike cats po kasi, uh, meron tayong maliit na CR para sa kanila. They can take care of themselves. Uh, may oras na hindi mo dapat sila inaalagaan. That's true. Yes, that's true, mga kaibigan. Uh, cats appreciate to being alone every now and then. So, wag ko kayong magagalit, wag kayong magtatampo kung may mga pusa kayo na parang suplado-suplada kasi that's really part of their nature. At yun, it, yun rin siguro ang part of their charm. Diba? <laughs> yes, mga kaibigan. Uh, just giving you one of the tips. Um, Marami pa kaming isha-share sa inyo at uh, gagawin natin to ng dahan-dahan. Okay, so puntahan natin ngayon ang mga balita sa Pilipinas ngayon, October 18, 2000, uh, 2024. So mga balita natin sa Philippine Star ngayon, mga headlines lang always ang pwede natin sabihin. Sara Duterte recalls threat to toss Marcos Sr.'s remains into the sea. Okay, kasi lately po, if I'm not mistaken today, ginawa ni BP Sara Duterte magpa-press conference regarding do sa kanilang current state of their relationship or working relationship or the lack of re- working relationship with President Bongbong Marcos Jr. Uh, Bongbong Marcos. At uh, may binanggit siya dito. At uh, if you want full details, punta lang po kayo sa Philippine Star, which is www.philstar.com. Uh, the reason po kung bakit hindi namin binabasa lahat po yung artikulo is because we respect copyrights. At uh, bilang kapwa nating journalist, bukod sa plagiarism, hindi po tapat tama yun. Ethics po namin, we need to respect ethics po yan. So, uh, Kailangan po namin sabihin yan. Tapos, um, again, another balita po. American National Kidnap in Sambuanga del Norte. Uh, to be honest po, lately, lahat po ng foreigners, uh, hindi po yung kasali ng mga Filipinos na may foreign passports or foreign citizenship, uh, medyo may problema po kasi sa buong Mindanao. na marami mga western embassies po na nakabase po sa Pilipinas at yung mga ano, pinagbabawalan nila mga citizens nila na mamasyal doon. Even may asawa kang tiga doon, bibisita ka lang sa cities or hindi ka mamasyal doon. Iniiwasan po talaga. Meron po silang parang advisory, to be honest po. At uh, alam naman po natin na hindi naman po lahat ng lugar sa Mindanao ay dangerous po para sa mga westerners. Pero... Iniiwasan po kasi dahil napaka-complicated kung, uh, kung magkaroon ng problema. And this happened to an American national, which we assume hindi ito yung Filipino merong citizenship na American. Okay, let's see. Ito pa. Uh, the Immigration Commission had nabbed a Korean man wanted for illegal gambling. Yeah. Yan. Tapos, ano pa pa mga balita dito? Okay, of course, um, yesterday po, October 17, would be the day na balitang-balita po ito yung pagpano po ni Liam Payne 
from dating member ng One Direction na nalaglag sa balcony sa fourth floor ng isang hotel sa Argentina. And uh, from what we gather po mga kaibigan, ang official um, timeline na lumalabas ngayon is that si Liam ay lasing and uh, maraming ginagawa na sinisira niya yung hotel room niya. Okay, in fairness naman po kasi marami naman pong uh, gumagawa po niyan sa totoo lang. Although syempre magastos yan pero ayun po. Pero yung according to the reception, uh, they called the police before mangyari ang insidente to tell the police na meron guest na natatakot sila sa sobrang lasing or under the influence of something ay masaktan niya yung sarili niya. Hindi lang po yung pwede malaglag sa balcony but he could hurt himself, other people as well. At uh, unfortunately po, nung bago dumating ang police and yung mga rescue teams, nalaglag na po si Liam. And from what we gather as well, is that talagang uh, pagbaksak niya, patay agad. So nakakalungkot po yon dahil another life gone at 31. So... Nakikiramay po kami. We're very sorry of your loss. Uh, tapos, uh, yun na. Another talent, another person wasted. Sa, sa isang, sabihin na natin, senseless way. Anyway, so mapunta po tayo ulit. Catherine Bernardo says, Second chances are gifts, not an obligation. So, ewan natin ko ano yung ibig sabihin niya, ganyan. Pero if you want to read more, punta lang po sa Philstar, Philstar, www.philstar.com. Tandong po siya sa kanyang headline page or yung index page po ng bawat website po. And then of course, the family of the Menendez brothers seek their release from California prison. So, again, do sa mga kaibigan po natin na... Uh, may Netflix o nakakapanood ng Netflix ito yung mga isa sa mga trending na mga documentary dahil uh, apparently paano pala paano pala nila pinatay yung parents in according to the documentary is yung inaabuso pala sila ng kanilang father sexually emotionally and physically as well and yung mother ay Parang sabihin na natin na takot makialam. So, very familiar yan at very common yan sa Filipino families as well. So, nakakalungkot kung totoo ito. At uh, we'll see what happens. Kasi, again, hindi po natin sinasabi na okay patay ng magulang or anyone for that matter. Basta meron sa inyong ginagawa na masama. Hindi po yan lisensya para manakit, mamatay or anything else. Yan po ang problema po doon sa situation na ganyan ni, ni uh, Menendez Brothers po. So, uh, if you have Netflix po, uh, maganda po pagkakagawa nung kanyang nung documentary na yun. Kumbaga, sabihin na natin na uh, very convincing na parang ang, ang mababait yung mga tao. Kumbaga. Uh, according to the prosecutor, yung prosecutor po, yung, yung kabilang side, yung usually po yan, sa galitong case po, yung criminal po, yung ganyan, ang prosecution ay usually ay galing po sa gobyerno na side. Okay? So, ang nangyari po niyan kasi is yung prosecutor, pumayag po na magpag-interview which is very rare as well. At ang sabi nga niya, ang ganda-ganda ng pagkakagawa, very convincing, pero tatandaan pa rin natin, mali pa rin yung ginawa ng magkapatid. Patayin, pinaril po yung mga magulang nila sa muka. O lalo na yung father. Anyway, tapos ang sabi pa nga ng prosecutor, yung babae po na ganyan, huwag kayong magkakamali na magalit sa akin kasi she's only doing her job which is totoo po yun at sabi nga niya I have a gun in my house kasi po minsan ang nangyayari kasi uh, 
marami pong armchair at mga keyboard warriors po na ganyan na akala nila yun na yung side of the story. Uh, hindi po yung katulad sa court po na ganyan na may magbibintang at meron naman magtatanggol na to disapprove yung bintang. Yun po yun. At uh, very strict po yung yung mga set po ng circumstances tsaka ng mga ebidensya na pwede mong i-admit. Hindi po pa pwedeng gamitin yung sabi ni sabi. Kailangan first hand mo palaging nakita na dinig. So yung kung sasabihin mo, sinabi kasi ng tita ko, sinabi ng kapatid ko, hindi po yan admissible to court. Yun po yan mga kaibigan. So iba po yung... Anyway, doon po sa Menendez Brothers po, establish po yan na they really admitted shooting their parents. Okay. So, again, if you have Netflix o wala kayong Netflix, subukan nyo kumuha ko kasi kung mahili kayo sa mga uh, mga mystery tsaka yung mga ganyan na parang documentaries na ganyan, maganda po yun sa Netflix. And then, uh, let's see. Ano pa mga balita dito on the Kaibigan Network po? Maraming maraming salamat again. Oh, yes. Okay, the Philippine Senate, the entire Philippine Senate is eyeing to probe the drug wars, extrajudicial killings. Killings, yan po. Tapos, eh, let's see. Kung ano pa mga balita po dito sa, sa the Kaibigan Network. Okay, yeah, mga kaibigan, kung kayo po may mga kamag-anak or may kakilala kayo ng Pilipinas na nagtatrabaho sa Lebanon at nakakausap niyo pa sila, please ask them to go home na lang. At uh, it's a big risk po kasi to uh, sabihin na natin na makipagsapalaran na sila na, na tao dito yung may mangyaring masama. So again, Dito po yan sa Philippine Stars, mga headlines po yan, October 18, October 18, 2024. Only here at the Kaibigan Network po. At uh, magbabalik po kami after a few reminders. Doring them instead. Here's why these furry fireballs are irresistibly lovable. First off, ginger cats are natural comedians. Their playful antics will have you laughing more than a comedy special. Second, they're absolute cuddle magnets. Need a furry pillow? Ginger cats are always down for a snuggle session. Third, these orange beauties are super social. They'll greet you at the door like a tiny fuzzy butler. Fourth, did you know ginger cats are thought to bring good luck? Who needs a rabbit's foot when you've got a ginger kitty? And lastly, their vibrant fur isn't just for show. It's a daily dose of sunshine to brighten up your life. So, if you're looking for a whiskered friend to fill your days with joy, a ginger cat is the way to go. Adopt one today and let the purrs begin. Hello mga kaibigan, we're back again. Maraming maraming salamat po for uh, staying in touch dito po sa atin uh, kaibigan podcast po only here at TKN. Maraming maraming salamat po broadcasting live mula po sa Stockholm, Sweden. Ito po si Roy Sipolito. from the Kaibigan Podcast.
Telling me at five instead of 25, ginger cats are the ultimate pets. Let's find out why. First up, ginger cats are like living sunshine. Their vibrant fur can brighten anyone's day. And did you know, most ginger cats are male? It's like having a tiny lion king in your living room. Then there's their personality. These cats are social butterflies. They love cuddles, belly rubs, and are often the first to greet you at the door. Talk about personality plus. And let's not forget their mischievous side. Ginger cats are playful pranksters. If something goes missing, check your ginger cat's secret stash. So, if you're looking for a furry friend who's charming, cuddly, and a bit of a comedian, a ginger cat is your perfect match. Adopt one today and let the fun begin. What I wish I knew at 5 instead of 25? Oh, yes po mga kaibigan, again, details po sa The Kaibigan Let's Network. Why. Yes, oh, we're getting, having technical difficulties po dito sa ating studio. Uh, broadcasting live dito sa ating TKN Studios. Maraming maraming salamat po sa management and staff of The Kaibigan Network. Maraming maraming salamat po again para kinukup-kup tayo nila. So, uh, thank you very much. Yes, mga kaibigan, yes, yes, yes. Now we're going to the main part of the show. Yes po, mga kaibigan. Yes, yes, yes. Marahilig ako magsabi ng yes. Kaysa naman sa no. Anyway, so ang ating pong reaction video ngayon na pakikita po natin is courtesy by a bloke named Gary Eats. He has about 166,000 subscribers and he is most likely or most of most likely he's based in the UK. Uh, yung kanyang specialty o kanyang mga vlogs ay he's visiting small restaurants, pubs. Kasi po yung pub sa UK po, ang ibig sabihin po niyan ay uh, para po ba yan uh, karindirya ng Pilipinas pero uh, full, full facilities may CR, may dining space. Uh, pero instead na parang buffet o yung yung turo-turo kumbaga, uh, usually po yan, pag in-order yan, ina-assemble, uh, kumbaga parang, pini-prepare yung mga materials, plus, meron silang set meal, na kumbaga for this day, ito po yung mga available lang. Hindi pa pwedeng umorder ka ng iba-iba. Kasi po, uh, parang magandang management po kasi ito, uh, sabihin na lang natin na, nakakabili sila ng, kunwari, bibili sila ng mga materials para sa, Pina natin sa fried chicken, kunwari lang, fried chicken with vegetables and galito-galito. Uh, susubukan nila na bumili ng ingredients good for 50. Uh, usually yan, mayroong isang protina. So that's either chicken, beef, or pork. And then meron ng parang vegetable or yung may carbohydrates. Uh, isa po yun. And then kung medyo social, may vegan. <laughs> eh, yes, siyempre, uh, lately po kasi maraming mga tao, maraming allergies, hindi mo na mamaintindihan kung lahat ng tao may allergies kung paano na nangyari ito. Anyway, so, uh, to make the story short, so nag-iikot siya, nakakain na siya doon sa kalila Jeremy Clarkson, uh, James May, yung musikat po yan from Top Gear and the Grand Tour, at yung mga iba-iba pa kay Gordon Ramsay, pati yung, ano nga na ni Ga, yung si ano, si Salt Bay, uh, Inuntahan na rin niya, of course, ni maganda review kasi sa totoo lang po kasi puro gimmick lang po. And then, lumitawon daw ang tunay na kulay ni Salt Bay. So, another tragedy story from success to somewhere. Yan po mga kaibigan. Anyway, so, let me introduce to you at uh, yung istorya ni Gary Eats visiting the Jollibee store located on Leicester Square in London, England. Take it away, Gary. Hi, everyone. Where are we? We come to Leicester Square and you take a look around. Leicester Square is mad busy, and I do mean mad busy. Where are we going? We're going to Jolly Bees, and it's a fast food restaurant. I'm not mad about fast food, but again, quite a few people have recommended that I give it a try, so that's what I'm going to do. Now, it's a Filipino restaurant. It has over a thousand of them in Philippines, so it is clearly massively popular. And here, in England, they're expanding throughout the whole of the country. So if they're expanding, I hope it's good because I haven't had a lot of luck on fast food in a couple of places I've been to. So fingers crossed, can't believe how busy it is up here. As always, 
let's give it a go and I'm not going to turn around and just randomly run away because I'm definitely going to take someone out. No, I'm not today. Nice one. So, mga kaibigan, so that was Gary Eats. Yan po yung introduction ng kanyang episode regarding sa pag-review niya ng reviewing Jollibee's UK fast food. Massively surprised. At uh, hihimayin natin, we'll chop it up and then we'll discuss about it. Pag-uusapan po natin yan. At uh, itong si Gary, Gary Eats po kasi it's very adorable na hindi porke may edad na siya, hindi na siya sabihin na natin na hindi, hindi tao dito. Hindi na, wala nang nanonood. Anyway, I, I guess eh, siguro nakaka-relate ako kasi may edad na ako ng konti. Pero siguro sa mga younger set of people, uh, I don't think na they will find itong ginagawa niya quite appealing. Of course, wala naman tayong magagawa doon. Yes po mga kaibigan. So, let's go back to the to the story. Uh, ang Leicester Square po kasi isang parang sabihin na natin parang Green Hills, Makati area ng London po yan. Quite old, maliit ang mga streets. Doon po madalas nagpe-premiere ang mga blockbuster movies na pinanood natin. Mga Harry Potter, mga ganyan. Diyan po yan. Sa lugar na yan. So talagang maganda at pinag-isipan at ginastusan at namuho na rin po ang, ang Jollibee Management uh, para po sa pagpili po ng shop na ito. Kasi I kid you not, napakamahal ng upa dyan. Yes! So... Uh, Napakamahal. And if I'm not mistaken, ang Jollibee po na sa Leicester Square is three floors na sabihin na natin na maliit lang na restaurants. Kasi alam tayo sa sanay natin sa Pilipinas maluluwag ang mga restaurants ng mga Jollibees or even McDonald's or even any burgers na mga restaurants, fast food restaurants, medyo malaki. Pero po kasi sa London po kung maniniwala kayo kasi it's very cramped because it's a very old city. It's about more than 1,000 plus years old na siya. So, uh, itong part ng Leicester Square na to isa ito sa, hindi naman pinaka-old. Oh, hindi pala 2,000 years old na ito, mahigit. Kasi mga Roman times pa, may, may London na before the Romans. So, uh, uh, it's si Gary, usually nakasuot siya ng uh, vest pag pumupunta. He's quite senior, sabihin na lang natin ganun. It's a, he looks very nice as well. He's, uh, he sounds like a nice guy. He actually, he actually uh, reacted to my comment on his uh, YouTube na sinabi ko po na Jollibee is the only fast food company na when pumasok si McDonald's sa isang bansa, lahat po ng mga local hamburger or fast food companies po nawawala po sa listahan. Jollibee ang kauna-unahan at hanggang ngayon, hindi matalo-talo ni McDonald si Jollibee pagdating po sa fast food. Yan po naman po yan. So, amazing feat po yan. Kasi if I'm not mistaken, ang Pilipinas lang po ang nakatalo sa McDonald's. Kasi even here in Sweden, uh, ang local hamburger uh, na nasikat dito na local brand is called Max M-A-X Max so um, masarap po siya para siyang kung nakakakain kayo nung araw sa tropical hot uh, mga 1970s yun uh, ganun ang lasa niya ang problema lang talagang maliit yung hamburgers niya and medyo may kamahalan compared sa McDonald's pero if I'm not mistaken McDonald's pa rin yata ang number one dito or at least the bigger one Parang ganoon. Unlike in the Philippines, na mal- malaki pa rin ang McDonald's pero di hamak na mas malaki si Jollibee. And the good thing about it is it that kung kayo po ay uh, may extra pera, if I were you, bumili po kayo ng stocks po ng Jollibee. Yan po yan. Uh, titignan natin kung magkano ngayon ng stocks ng Jollibee. Kasi every time na nag expand ang ang uh, Jollibee po sa abroad, it brings back money. Kabalik taran po, isipin na lang natin na kunwari ang McDonald's ay Filipino. Yun po yan. Diyan po nag-uumpisa po ang, ang generation ng wealth. Yan po yan. So mga mga Filipino businesses po kasi ay uh, anong tayo yun? Risk, risk averse tsaka risk creative 
Parang ganun. Anyway, so panoorin natin itong si uh, Jer- Gary e- Eats. Ilalagay po natin yung bits ng kanyang mga video. Pero hindi po pwede lahat kasi it's copyrighted po kasi as well. And uh, we're going to just like do this. So naglalakad na siya, papasok sa Jollibee. As usual, marami nakatambay ng mga Filipinos. Jollibee, chicken burgers and pies. Ayan po. So he's mentioning yung mga... He's showing po yung ground floor kung saan ka makakapag... Uh, makakapag... Uh, tawag dito? Makakapag... Uh, bilhin ng mga... Order pala. Ang problema lang minsan sa ginagawa natin dito sa mga stores natin sa abroad is nagiging ano siya. Para siyang... Uh, Wait, wait, wala yung audio niya. Why you pressing that infernal machine yeah. on users is in touch with me. Not too good with pigeons either. Uh, I've ordered already. Just to let you know, I've decided to go for the whole works here. So just going to run through. I've got the spicy chicken sandwich, um, the chicken joy, one piece. So spices, binabasa niya ngayon yung, uh, the fries, yung kanyang order. Juice, peach mango pie. Well, I mean, it goes on. Uh, the spaghetti, jolly spaghetti. Now they're really famous for their spaghetti. So I've got to try that. One of their hot dogs as well, and I've gone for the bucket. Why not? Eight <laughs> bucket. A six-piece bucket. Yes. I'll go through the prices in a minute. This place is incredibly busy, and I do mean very busy. This is early. I came here early because I thought, hang on, I'll beat the crowds because here's Leicester Square, and it, obviously Leicester Square gets incredibly busy with tourists and all the rest of it. But the other thing I've got to tell you, there's a buzz going, absolute buzz again all the time. Ding, dong, dong, ding. Every couple of sort of seconds, I'll, I'll struggle to actually eat inside because you wake up in the middle of the night, just ding dong, someone's at the door, someone's at the door. Okay, well, what I'm going to do is um, go in because uh, I better collect it, hadn't I? Uh, order number 194. So that could be the 194th customer of the day already, which is incredible. But I better go and uh, see if it's ready. Okay, see you soon. So, mga kaibigan, like I said, he inasalan niya ko ni mga no order sa Chicken Joy, yung spaghetti, yung jolly hot dog, uh, yung yung french fries na may sriracha sauce. Uh, so, na, nagtataka siya at nagugulat siya. Kasi po, sa totoo lang, yung 194 orders po na ganun. Uh, marami na yun. Sa totoo lang. At uh, siguro ito, mga nagpunta siya ng maaga para kukunti tao. Dahil alam niyo naman po, I've been to the Jollibee Milan store uh, in Italy po yan. Palagi hong may tao at alam mo naman tayo mga Filipinos, maingay. So pag nagkukentuhan sila, maingay, maingay. So mahirap mag-record, mahirap mag, uh, uh, mag, mag-monologue kumbaga. So uh, that was the story about uh, yung sinasabi niya. In case na hindi niyo maintindihan yung kanyang accent. Eh, so he was saying, 194, extremely busy na, na shop. At alam niyo naman po sa dami ng mga Filipinos eh. If I'm not mistaken, again, majority ng mga Filipinos na nakatira sa UK, uh, lalo na yung mga re- recent, mga 90s na yan, pataas, are usually in the healthcare industry, lalo na yung mga nurses. Nurses, physical therapists, doctors, uh, yan po mga usual na mga Filipinos na lumipat po dyan at uh, they number in the thousands. Tapos yung siguro susunod na subset ng mga population natin is yung mga Filipinos na nakapag ng mga British citizens po. So it could be British citizens na Filipino o British-British. Pag sinabi natin British po, that could either be somebody from England, yung po ay English, somebody from Wales, yung po ay tinatawag nilang Welsh, at somebody from Scotland, yun naman po ay Scot, at yun naman po ang Northern Ireland, They are Irish, pero po Protestant majority and uh, under British rule po sila. Yung Republic po ng Ireland, tsaka po yung Northern Ireland, ay nakalagay lang po yan sa isang kapirasong isla. At yung Northern Ireland ay ah, syempre nandun sa main north. Maliit lang po siya. And then the rest would be the Republic of Ireland, which is majority uh, Catholic as well. Yung po yan. So walang pinagkaiba yung Northern Irish, tsaka yung Republican Irish po, they're the same kind of people. May lumipat lang po ng mga Scots, English, tsaka mga Welsh doon sa time na yon, Kasi para maging teritoryo nila, etc. But salimuot po yan. Anyway, so galito gagawin natin ngayon sa kanya. We'll be back and we're going to uh, explore more 
So, papasok na si Gary para i-retrieve niya yung mga orders niya. So, let's see dito sa kanyang... Uh, balik tayo sa kanyang... Yes! So, pumasok na siya ulit sa Jollibee store, which is... Got to see the crowds in here. It's madness. Yeah, talagang matao, Gary. Talagang matao. Okay, change of location. Uh, I've got to say, outside, it got really, really noisy. People singing and can't have that in the background. Um, as you come in here, it's actually it's on two levels. So you got as you walk in, you got obviously all the touch screens and everyone queues up, and then you come up here. However, you are going to be really disturbed by this. If you give me twenty seconds, I will guarantee that you sign twenty whoa, 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 wait, wait, wait. Well, I'm going to help you use the exact same Ito, system. Uh, that me disturbed by this. So you have my apologies, and if you have nightmares at night, Inum. again Inum. my apologies. Take a look at this. That's a bucket. So six pieces of chicken there. You've got gravy as well. Then you've got the fries with the sriracha sauce on there with uh, some chicken. This is what they're famous for, is their spaghetti. I thought it was spaghetti meatballs. It's a spaghetti and sausage. Is it? Yes, yeah, spaghetti and sausage. It's a little bit different. Then this is um, chili coated in the chicken sandwich. Online. Okay. Right. Chicken burger. Haven't opened that up yet. It's got chicken burger. I'm going to be chicken dry out here, aren't I? Um, then. The hot dog, We've got dips there. Oh, uh, Asian uh, ginger chili, buttermilk ranch, and the garlic mayo dip. And then for dessert, uh, peach and mango pie. And this is my first time, as I said, um, coming in here. So if I get things wrong, I do apologize straight away. Where should I start? I'm going to start. Okay, so what happened to him? So in order to get all hamburger, the chicken joint is spicy. Yung sriracha sauce na may french fries, jolly hot dog, at siyempre, alam niyo po mga kaibigan kasi ang typical na spaghetti sauce po sa labas po ng Pilipinas ay hindi matamis, medyo maasim siya because of the tomato, at wala pong hot dog. So, hindi yeah. <laughs> ako nagbibiro po, sa totoo lang. Uh, ako po, hindi karoon ng opportunity na tumira sa... Italy before and talagang hindi ko na kinikwento kasi pag binanggit mo yung alam yung spaghetti sa amin ay may hot dog. <laughs> Ang Italiano po kasi ay very strict sila sa standard which is rightly so naman uh, they find it para bang isipin nyo nilang na yung goto nilagyan natin ng marshmallow or chocolate. Parang ganun kasi yan eh. Diba? So nakakainis po na sa para sa kanila nakakainis po yung kasi kahit po yung pizza masamang masama loob nila do sa pizza na may pinya. Pineapple pizza. Yes, ayaw na ayaw po nila yan. Huwag niyo sinasabi. Yan. If you're in Italy, uh, yung pineapple tsaka yung yung ah, itong mga pag ay, yung pizza na nilalagyan ng ketchup. Yes. De 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 ko lang bibro. Sa totoo lang po, hindi po, siguro mas masarap. Hindi, ito, in fairness kasi, yung mga pizza sa labas ng Italy kasi, hindi talaga ganun kasarap. So, nakakatulong talaga yung ketchup. Pero, pag napunta kayo sa hindi talaga commercialized masyado, at hindi ko magamit nung sabihin na natin na parang, uh, parang lahat ay uh, may artificial ingredients na mga pizza. Meron po yan sa Italy po yan. Yung mga mass-produced na mga dough tsaka yung mga, yung mga sauces and everything. Yun, sigurado yun, parang lasa sa abroad na pizza. Anyway, pero, pag ang ginamit ng pizzeria, na ginamit ng pizza yulo, yun ang tawag sa taong nagluluto ng pizza. Okay, hindi po chef. Pizza yulo po yan. Anyway, pag ginamit nila yung authentic Italian brand na mga, yung mga local brands lang po ng tomato sauce, uh, mga toppings, cheese, mga ganyan. Talaga naman po kasing saksakan ng sarap. Yes! Yes po mga kaibigan. So, uh, uh, it's kind of an overshare, no? Hindi, <laughs> hindi. Hindi, pero like I said, so, again, um, uh, since na yung mga English po kasi ay typically the same 
taste po katulad ng Americans na, na in, malaki po ang impluensya sa atin. Kasi to be honest, ang spaghetti o pasta is most likely introduced by Americans rather than Italians sa Pilipinas. So, yun naman po ang pinagkaiba doon. So, very familiar tayo do sa recipes ng mga Americans and to a certain extent yung mga English dahil po dyan. So, uh, uh, he was a little bit surprised at syempre magtataka na masarap kaya ito. So, again, balik po tayo kay Gary Eats. Why not? Over here. Let's see what it's all about. So, um, the one thing I've got to say, as I'm looking around all the tables, everyone's all of this. Yeah, just about every single table is all of this. So, to take a close up in here, and the spaghetti, then your sauce on top, some cheese. Obviously, I said about the uh, sausage. You're going to have to come over here. It's going to ruin the shirt, isn't it? Absolutely, no doubts this shirt's going. Avon lady. Here we go. Hmm. Wow. That sauce is different. It's really sweet. Sorry. It's sweet. It's not really sweet. Oh, do you know, I actually really like that. That sauce. There's obviously lots of tomato in there, but the thing that gets you straight away is the fact that there is quite a sweetness with the, with the sauce. And this is just wrong. I'm really sorry about this. Comes with the sausage, as I say. Would I prefer meatballs? Definitely. Do I think that's bad? I think that's really, really good. And now I understand why everyone's ordered it. I like that. I do like that. I'm going to come back to you. So, ayan po. Uh, tinikman niya yung Jolly Spaghetti. Ano ba pangalan ng Jolly Spaghetti? Or Jolly Spaghetti. Uh, so, again, medyo matamis on the side. Kasi, to be honest, like, karamihan po ng mga Pilipino pagkain ay matamis. Ang hindi na lang nalalagay ng matamis ngayon ay ang sinigang. Right, really, really po, maniwala ka sa... Di ba yung sinigang ay hindi pa nilalagay ng matamis tsaka siguro yung dinugaan or tinumis, depende po kung saan kayong nag, uh, nakatira. So, uh, di, uh, come on, di ba? Sabi nga natin, nakakapag... Uh, lahat na lang ng pagkain sa Pilipinas ngayon ay may asukal at uh, yun ang problema ngayon doon. Ah... Uh, Diabetes is on the rise, hypertension, obesity ay uh, on the rise po yan. Hindi po kailangan ninyo maging super mataba para maging obese. Okay? Akala minsan yung malaki lang ang tiyan ay uh, dumampas lang kaya yata kayo ng 20, uh, 15% or 10% of your ideal body mass ay kayo ay considered ng obese. At ang ibig sabihin po, pag kayo nagiging obese, ang problema po kasi dyan ay uh, mahirap dumalo yung dugo, tumataas ang presyon, nagkakaroon ng problema yung heart. Kasi siyempre, nahihirapan itulak ng heart yung dugo ninyo para kumalat sa buong, bu- sa buong katawan natin yun. So, it's a big problem po yan. So, for those who are mahilig pong kumain sa, sa mga, tawag dito, mga fast food, uh, moderation lang po yan. We are not saying na masamang masama masama ang fast food. Pero, masama na rin siya. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, uh, Jollibee po ito. Uh, Gary Eats, reviewing Jollibee's UK fast food. Uh, he's massively surprised. Panurin po natin. Him over there. That is excellent. Then I'm going to, I want to mix it up because I'm going to have chicken, 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 chicken. I'm going to go for a piece of chicken. This is the spicy one, so I want to leave him almost until last because I don't want that to ruin it. Now I'm interested in seeing what this coating is all about. Let's break it open. 
So kinakain na po niya ngayon, sinusubukan ng tainin niyo. Chicken, chicken joy. Kinagat, and... That is juicy chicken. Mm-hmm. Really yes. juicy. But it's this. It's a coating. Because I want to see how different it is from Popeyes and KFC. So doon po sa UK, yung Popeyes po kasi, tsaka yung KFC, which is, we're, we're familiar sa KFC po. Yung Popeyes po kasi is another fast food restaurant po, which is, kasi po ang, uh, sabihin na natin, sa fast food, lalo na sa abroad, lalo na sa western countries po, ang um, pinakamabili ay, it's either, uh, most popular uh, protein ingredient po is either chicken or beef, madalang po ang pork, kasi po, uh, iniiwasan nila magkaroon ng pork kasi yung mga kaibigan po natin mga Islamic people ay bawat silang kumain ng pork at mahirap paghiwalay hiwalay yung mga pagkain na ganyan so minabuti na lang ng karamihan ng mga ano ng mga restaurants kung mapupunan ninyo McDonald's walang pork walang pork or most of almost everyone doesn't have like a pork burger or anything na may pork uh, ano, palaging chicken kasi po sa mga Islamic countries po kasi pinaka popular sa kanilang kainin pinaka murang kainin nila is chicken so katulad po dito sa Sweden napakadaming uh, mga Muslims po dito and you would notice dun sa mga dun sa mga frozen section namin sa mga supermarkets nuggets uh, legs wings uh, yung quarters ng chicken uh, of various sizes and colors and kumbaga some flavors and stuff puro ho yun kukonti lang ang baboy uh, kasi nga yung bawal sa kanila po yun yun ang fate nila so wala tayong magagawa dun so balik po tayo sa Gary Eats sa Jollibee yeah take a look that's a little bit thicker than the um, the encasing or the um the coating on KFC. And it's only a bit less than Popeyes. What it is, it's, it's, it's kind of salty. Not kind of, it is salty, but not unpleasant. The one thing that is outstanding is that chicken. That is, again, one of my issues. Yeah, you can, no problem. Thank you. One of the issues I always have with KFC at the moment, and I don't enjoy it, is the fact that when you get the chicken, it's really dry. This isn't dry at all. It's very, very moist. I like that. That's a good bit of chicken. What am I gonna do now? Let's move you back all over there. Let's dive into these fries, because I wanna try and just mix things up as I go along. So again, with the fries, you have the sauce on top. Some onions, just adds a bit of colour to it. And I think that's a nice touch because it actually makes it, it makes it appealing on the eye. And then you've got the chicken as well. But I want to try, I've already tried the chicken, so let's try these fries. Oh. Mm -mm. Do you know what's good about that sauce? It's got a tiny bit of heat but it's not like over the top punchy. Hmm. Do you know? That chicken tender as well. They're just normal fries, but the flavors have actually been elevated with that sauce. That's a really good, good sauce. So yeah, mga kaibigan, like uh, she said, uh, ang, tik, ang huli niyang tinigmang kasi yung chicken joy and then meron kasing parang chicken sriracha sauce na meron fries kasi po like I said dito po sa western Europe po kasi ang imbis na kanin ay ang source ng carbohydrates ay potato at uh, doon po sa UK uh, second parang sabi na natin second palaging second nila nakasama sa pagkain I, anything made out of potato. It could be mashed potatoes, soup base, or yung fries, or sa kanila tawag nila chips. Okay. So pag sinabing chips or fries, it's pretty much the same. Pag mayroong 
May foreigner na nagsabi ng fries, most likely ang ginagamit nilang English would be the American version. At pag may nagsabi ng chips, ang ibig sabihin po naman yun ay most likely natutunan nilang English ay yung um, English English. And uh, nasarapan siya. Uh, kasi po, like, yung pong anghang level natin sa Pilipinas po, hindi po yan uh, normal para po sa mga karamihan po na nasa abroad. So pag sinabi nila yung heat, maanghang po yun. Kasi hindi po palagi nilang ginagamit yung spicy. Anyway, heat, yun po yung anghang. And uh, tama lang kasi like I said, uh, hindi po sila sanay do sa anghang na yun. So kung kayo ay may friend na foreigner at bumisita sa Pilipinas, huwag masyado maanghang muna at pag nasanay na, tsaka natin ano. Pero kung may edad na, malamang hindi na masasanay. So, eh, totoo lang po. Kasi talagang yung, yung mga pagkain po dito sa Sweden, matatawa kayo minsan eh. Sasabihin nila, oh, it's super so hot or you know, spicy or anything. Sabi ko, just ko. Nung tinikmang ko, ay, guess what? Wala, pang... Elementary lang yan eh. Pero alam naman tayo magagawa. Like I said, hindi sila sanay. So, um, again, balik po tayo kay Gary Eats. Yeah. Hmm. Fries are fries, chips are chips. But it's the add-ons that kind of bring everything up and elevate everything up. They are very good. I'm not a massive lover of fast food. But I'm telling you now, this is really good. And I understand now why they're expanding and why it's so popular. And again, looking in here, why it's so packed. So then we have the sandwich here. So that's that. Got some lettuce, some uh, mayonnaise, I think, that's in there. I don't know what's underneath it. Yeah, just some more. Let's try this. Looks very crispy. Mm -hmm. I didn't realize, I was like, blimey, that's spicy. And the coating is spicy, so again, if you're a bit nervous about your spice, be very careful. There is one slight issue with it, it's a bit dry, and this, everything else is very uh, tender and juicy, as I say, but that there, unfortunately, is that bit over. And if we take a close up, you can actually see where it is, yeah, just over. Yeah. What I'm gonna have to do with that is put some gravy in there and try it. Actually, I'll do that now. So let's put some of the gravy in. I'm gonna have to get another gravy because uh, I'm gonna need some gravy with that. Let's see what the gravy tastes like. <clears throat> They're still giving me <clears throat> on the back of the throat. That gravy is brilliant. The only problem is there's not much of it. I'm going to have to go. So again, ladies and gentlemen, si Gary, uh, yung po kasing chicken hamburger ng Jollibee dun sa UK, ay siguro natapat sa kanya. Or yung mga foreigners po kasi, ayaw ho nila na masyadong malutong. Ay, masyadong well done. Tsaka masyadong pritong-prito, yung tostado. Kasi unang-una, ang dahilan nila is uh, nawawala yung nutrition. Kasi talagang, sabi mo nang close to sunog na yun. And then, uh, mahirap kainin kasi matigas. Pero tayong mga Filipinos, tsaka yung mga Mexican, yung mga South Americans po, mahilig po dyan. Yes! Yes po. Pero... Uh, sinubukan niya yung Jollibee na gravy para sa Chicken Joy para daw medyo mabasa yung sabi na natin medyo ma-hydrate yung, yung pinaka-chicken patty kasi yung chicken po na sa chicken burger po ng Jollibee para kasi siyang breaded na siguro yung chicken meat na maraming maraming ano na, breadings kumbaga ang problema kasi siguro yung napunta sa kanya hindi niya type, pero sa mga Filipinos gustong gusto nyo kasi may malutong. Ibang marami mga tostado ng mga, ng mga breadings na... Hindi mm. nga. Hindi, <laughs> hindi. Pero marami mga Filipinos may gusto niya. Kahit ako, to be honest lang talaga, gusto ko talaga rin yan. Eh, 
unfortunately, uh, yung iba yung pagkain natin ng uh, what we consider delicious ay very different po dun sa mga Westerners. So, yun lang po ang gusto kong paliwanag po sa inyo. And, uh, tawag dito, itong si Gary ay uh, nagulit siya dun sa gravy. Again, pambato ng Jollibee ay si Chicken Joy, si Gravy, at uh, ano pa ba? Alam mo, ang hindi niya nawal- ang wala siya dito. Kung ano yung nawawala na sinubukan niya. Ang hindi niya sinubo, ang hindi niya in order, siguro na wiwirduhan siya or hindi niya ma-pronounce ay yung pancit balabok. <laughs> Di ba? Hindi nga. Pancit balabok. <laughs> hindi, kasi sa totoo lang, nagugo, ano lang, uh, he practically ordered all of the things in the menu or most of it uh, in the menu. Uh, well, hindi niya lang in order yung mga yum burgers. Yun na napuna ko lang doon niya in order yung mga hamburgers pero yung chicken burger meron so hindi nakapasa sa kanya hindi niya nagustuhan yung paglasa pero yung, yung gravy talaga alam niyo po yung KFC dito hindi ko na alam kung sa Pilipinas ano na nangyari pero yung KFC po dito uh, dumadami siya sa Sweden pero yung pinagmamalaki na what used to be yung gustong gusto ko sa KFC yung gravy rin uh, malaki na ako pinagbago at um, hindi mo malam mo kung Meron silang pinalit siguro dahil sa mga health concerns siguro o uh, inalis nila. So, balikan po natin si Gary Eats reviewing Jollibee Leicester Square. Don't order a bigger one, but as a chicken gravy, the one thing that's quite strange, consistency-wise, it looks very thin, but it isn't. Well, it is, but um, that actually works perfectly. And it worked well with that. That shouldn't really need help. But it did. That needed a little bit of help. Now. <laughs> moving on to the hot dog. I had a couple of hot dogs on the channel recently, haven't I? So, loads of cheese, some tomato ketchup, and the dog itself. Soft roll. For me, they're barking up the wrong tree with this one. I think that's unnecessary because everything else that they have here is very good. That is very mediocre. It's not for me. I'm not mad about the flavor of the hot dog itself. And again, when you specialize in certain aspects, and that I'm talking about is the spaghetti, which is absolutely fantastic. The chicken, which is really good, and I love the coating on there. There's no need to bring these guys in, you know. What's the point in bringing a hot dog to the party? It's, um, it's unnecessary. I'd actually not enjoy the hot dog. I'm enjoying the pineapple juice. One final thing, why well, I've got to try these guys out, the dips there, is this. And it's spicy chicken. I saved it until the end. Let's have a look. Breaking it open. See, the chicken is nice and white. And again, you can see the juices in the chicken there as well. And it's gonna be spicy, I know. I was about to say, no, that's not spicy. But it is. There's a real crunch on the coating. And I gotta say, as a portion, that's a big piece. And again, I'm kind of looking at it you know, what would I come in and order? I'll definitely order the chicken. There's no doubt about that. That's excellent. I'll definitely have them fries. They are top. So what I'm thinking about here, for a lunchtime special, I'll definitely go for these and I'll go for this guy as well. I'll go for this and I'll go for that. Because I think as a lunchtime special, that is perfect. That'd certainly keep you going for the rest of the day. Failing that, I'll just come in and have one of them. This is for, in my book, definitely evening time. That is years ahead of KFC. I'm telling you, that is, that is light years ahead. The great- yes, mga kaibigan, sabi nga niya, yung Chicken Joy ay mas masarap kaysa doon sa KFC. Yes, yes, finally, ito po ang kailangan natin sa buhay natin. 
yung mga companies na galito, they're going international and they're beating the competition. Yun naman po yan eh. Like I said, uh, kailangan po natin ng galito kasi it generates employment po at yung mga marami pong uunlad sa atin. So like I said, if you are in the Philippines or you can, anywhere you are, pwede kayong bumili ng Philippine stocks, kung allowed kayong bumili ng Philippine stocks, bumili kayo ng Jollibee, not because uh, it's a nationalistic thing, it's a very sensible business investment as well. Kasi po para kayong bumili rin ng McDonald's or Coca-Cola or one of those things. Kasi uh, maganda po ang pamamalakad as far as we can see from the outside, uh, maganda po pamamalakad po ng uh, Jollibee. Unfortunately po na nangyayari na ngayon sa Pilipinas is nagiging, uh, sabihin na natin, potentially saturated na yung yung mga lugar sa mga probinsya, yung mga urban centers natin sa probinsya ng mga Jollibees. Kasi nung dati ang Jollibee lang, nasa Maynila lang before, or yung mga malalaking cities lang. Pero ngayon halos lahat yata ng bayan may Jollibee na. So, uh, it could be a good thing or a bad thing, pero... Uh, saludo po ako sa Jollibee talagang ang KFC po kasi they are they have probably done some changes po do sa recipe or ang um, mga franchises po yun na sa abroad pero kasi po ako po kasi first job ko po na nasa fast food po nung college ako ay sa KFC Recto yung malapit po sa UP ah uh, UE at uh, wala naman po kasi yung pag-franchisee ka naman, wala ka naman ibang gagawin kundi mag-assemble na lang. Eh. Iluto yon o linisin yon luto, linis, luto, linis. So, uh, hindi mo naman makikita kung paano finoformulate yung mga recipes, yung mga marination na ganyan. Kasi dumarating na yun, nakasupot na. Uh, lahat to, ano na yan, takal na, measured na yan. And then, predicted ng lahat kung magkano ito lahat kikitain mo. Labor na lang talaga yung supply mo at yung location. And uh, I'm happy and proud to say na Jollibee po ay uh, is, it's doing a great job po sa abroad. Di ba marami na sa US. Uh, I don't know kung meron sa Australia pero meron na sa I don't know kung meron na sa Canada. Pero dito po sa Europe po, if I'm not mistaken, Uh, meron na of course sa Italy, sa Rome at Milan Meron na sa Barcelona, sa Spain uh, Hindi ko alam sa Germany kung meron. Then then, ang pinakamalapit po dito sa Sweden would be the UK so, Ang UK po kasi is uh, by plane is one hour and a half uh, So London is one hour and a half by plane Plus another one hour of, from Gatwick or Heathrow whichever Or Stansted kung saan kayo bababa To go to the city Yan po yan pero, from Stockholm po, uh, mas gusto ko o mas madali sugurong pumunta para sa akin from Stockholm, diretso Milan. Even though it's a 3-hour flight, almost 3-hour flight, uh, kaysa sa um, magpunta sa UK. Kasi parang mas malapit at mas madali yung connections doon. Kasi doon sa UK parang, ewan ko lang, there's something... Difficult lang siguro doon. Anyway, so again, balik po tayo kay Gary Eats. Baby's really good. The only, the only criticism I've got here, that is pointless. That should be anywhere near it. And that's just that tiny bit dry, but the gravy is really helping it along, which you shouldn't necessarily need. But all in all, am I impressed here? Yeah, I am. I do like it. Onto the dips, I'm gonna make this simple. I'm just gonna say, do I like it? Do I not like it? What's this, the garlic mayo? I like that. Oh yeah. Buttermilk ranch. Yeah. Hmm. I like that as well. And the Asian ginger chili. enjoy that one you've got to like your ginger there's not a lot of heat coming off it a lot of ginger in there now last but not least i'm only going to have a small um, mouthful of this is the peach and mango pie because i want to come back to this and obviously we both want to dive in so you've got the peach and mango pie 
One thing I really like about McDonald's, well, the only thing I like about McDonald's is their apple pies. Very, very similar in look. Mm-mm. That filling. Now, quite a few times you actually don't taste anything, but you actually really taste the peach and mango. One is the apple pies. And in has come the peach and mango for me. All in all, I actually really like it. Um, as I said, I'm not mad about fast food, but if I was going out and I wanted some chicken, this is definitely where I'll go. Without a shadow of a doubt, I'll definitely come here. Is it, is it brilliant quality? No. Is it expensive? Bearing in mind the location. I'll come to the prices afterwards. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna tuck in, okay? And I'm gonna see you outside. I've already got the bill, and I'll tell you my final thoughts. All in all, yeah, I understand why it's so popular. Well done to them. Right, we'll actually decide who's going to have what. Um, no, 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 no. I'm having that um, because I really enjoyed that. And then we go from there. So yes, mga kaibigan. So natapos ng tikman ni Gary, yung yung hot dog, yung chicken joy, yung chicken joy na spicy. Oh, eh, may iba pang pangalan yun. Uh, yung spaghetti si peach mango peach pie tsaka yung french yung french fries o yung chips na may sriracha sauce tsaka may mga chicken nuggets yata yun nasa ibabaw and tsaka yung chicken burger so uh, natapos na niya of course nagustuhan rin niya yung Filipino version natin ng pineapple juice so yun ang in-order niya as drinks and he said that uh, So, siyempre, tinikman po niya. Pag nagtitiping po kayo, yun ang masalap sa mga galitong mga trabaho. Is that you get to taste stuff. And then, of course, hindi mo kakainin lahat. Ang problema lang nga minsan ay... Uh, by the time matapos ka mag-taping... Eh... Tawag dito? Malamig na siya. No, that's true. That's true. Malamig na siya. Malamig na siya. Uh, yes po mga kaibigan, wait lang at uh, wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 wait. Tapos uh, let mga kaibigan ganito lang po yan So nagustuhan niya yung peach mango pie Alam niyo kasi ganito yan uh, Isa sa mga ideas ko kasi paano uh, Ang Jollibee kasi is malaking potential maging parang national champion natin Katulad lang ng kunwari si States mga national champions nila pagdating sa pagkain na lang muna ha? sa pagkain na lang muna is of course malaking export nila yung McDonald's uh, Pizza Hut yung mga ganyan and it brings back money to the states paano po sila maunlad ito dadang po ng UK ano ba mahal na ang mga imports natin sa Pilipinas ng UK na pagkain not really familiar though ano nga ba Worcestershire uh, Worcestershire sauce yan po ang isa. So, toyo, vinegar yan, tsaka may ginger yata yung Worcestershire sauce. Yan po yan. Isa sa pagsapagkain, ha? Uh, tapos yung, kunwari, yung Japan, Kikuman, isa yan, national champion nila sa pagkain. Kasi yung sushi, uh, ginagawa lang naman po yan sa kung nasaan man yan. So, hindi naman galing sa Japan yung mga sushi na yan. Pero yung Kikuman, of course, galing yan sa fermented soya beans na ginawa sa Japan. So, most likely, ewan ko na lang kung meron silang ibang uh, mga, ano tawag dito? Mga ibang uh, planta ng uh, kikuman dahil yun ang siguro na lang masasabi natin na uh, ano ba tawag dito? Yes! O, oh, ayan. Hindi natin ang konting music para maganda. Uh, yung kikuman. And then, uh, dito sa Sweden, ang pagkain nila na national na export nila. Yung, yung pag sinabi natin na pagkain yung... Hindi yung recipe. Kasi, pag, katulad ng meatballs, uh, yun ang pambato ng Sweden, pwede mong gawin yan doon. At hindi naman po nila ini-export o 
ewan ko, madalang siguro. Pero yung pagkain dito, katulad ng chocolate dito, yung uh, marabu, yun ang pangalan ng national champion nila na chocolate, marabu. So, kunwari si State naman po ay uh, Hershey's. Kunwari lang po, may mga ganyan. Anyway, so, ang iniisip ko lang po is um, sana yung mga ipapanatin mga food companies po ay pagbutihin po yung quality. At gaya po ng sinabi ng Pilipino na may-ari po ng Pinoy Saver Smart po sa Italy po yun, yung Asian store na Filipino owned. Um, yung mga ingredients po na ginagamit po kasi natin na hindi allowed sa mga magagandang markets. At uh, meron akong bad news sa inyo kung maniniwala kayo. Alam niyo po ba na nung araw ang mga Filipinos hindi pwede magdala ng pati sa Amerika? Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Totoo yan. Uh, hindi ka pwede magdala. Dahil uh, unang-unang mabaho, etc. etc. Ngayon, pwede nga. Pero unfortunately, ang nangyari po sa Pilipinas po ay yung Filipino patis. Dito po sa Europe po, sa experience ko na natira ako sa maraming bansa po dito sa, Euro, sa Europe po na galito. Palagi po tayong tinatalo ng mga Thai brand na fish sauce. Patis! Pinaganda lang. Patis. Pinayin niyo po ang patis. In a general basic ingredients po nila ay isda or seafood, asin, tubig. So tatlo. Pero natalo pa tayo. Hindi ko maintindihan yan na ang mga Filipino brand na patis na nakakarating dito yung ang huli ko nakita, Rufina na patis. Hindi ko nakakatagal dito kasi saksakan po ng mahal compared po doon sa mga Thai brands po na medyo may ibang lasa pero again, hindi ko ganun pagka, malaki pagkakaiba. And the ties are are rinsing us out very well. Pagdating po sa Southeast Asia po ng mga economists na ganyan, iba po kasi yung, yung Singapore. Iba po yung pinagkayaman nila, services po yun, tsaka banking. Pero outside po Singapore, uh, Thailand po ang, medyo sabihin na natin, all around maganda development nila compared sa ibang mga bansa. Yung po kasi Indonesia, tsaka po yung Brunei, na dihamak po yata mas mayaman yung Brunei of course eh dahil po sa langis so yun naman yung langis is parang tubig po yun na, hin- na binobomba lang nila tapos binibenta nila so hindi, hindi fair kumpaga uh, ang labanan so again pinag-uusapan lang po natin dito sa Kaibigan Podcast po kasi is Gary Eats uh, isang UK based blogger po yan who's testing different kinds of restaurants and pubs in the UK at uh, sinubukan niya po yung Jollibee and he was really surprised at maganda po itong feedback sa totoo lang. Kasi doon sa lahat ng kinain niya, ang hindi lang niya nagustuhan ay yung hot dog, yung Jolly hot dog. Na, sa tingin ko, walang nagsabi sa kanya na usually yung hot dog na yan ay ino-order lang ng mga bata. Diba? <laughs> mga bata lang po <laughs> ang in-order, ang order lang po niyan ay binibili po lang natin yan. Usually, is yung hot dog po ay para po sa bata. At uh, hindi niya nagustuhan ng lasa. E, ito po kasi, ang pinopoint out ko lang dito is uh, parang isang magandang indicator. Parang ano ho kasi yan eh, pinag-aaralan natin kung ano yung mga pagkain na, na or mga products natin na pwede natin i-export, pwede natin negosyohin. Yan naman po yan. At uh, like I said, ito pong si Gary Eats. Marami siyang nakainan na. So, medyo, sabi na natin, medyo maraming siyang pagpaparisan. Hindi lang ito yung katulad natin mga Filipinos na very confirmation bias tayo na masarap lang sa atin yung Filipino food. Pero, sa totoo lang, marami pang ibang masasarap rin pong pagkain in their own right. Yes po mga kaibigan. Kasi palagi ho natin sinasabi na, ah, matabang, maliit, hindi. Ah, uh, hindi. Hindi ko kasi tayo yung sanay ng hindi matamis o hindi maalat ang pagkain. Hindi tostado, hindi pritong-prito, overcooked po palagi, mga ganyan. So, paano hindi natin na-appreciate yung mga ibang flavors and textures po? Yun lang po ang sinasabi ko lang po sa inyo. So, again, this is Gary Eats po. Uh, try him out, visit him, uh, watch his food, uh, vlogs po na ganyan. 
It's very wholesome po, very recommended po yan sa mga families po. At it's something refreshing. Uh, wala siyang pakulo, wala siyang fancy graphics. Ano lang, honest opinion lang po na naginagamit niya. Again, we have no commercial tie-up po with Gary Eats. We just, uh, I just watch him as well. At compared po dun sa, siya po ay English. At compared dun sa Kesani, dun sa The Best Food Review uh, na show na nagre-review rin ng mga pagkain as usual Filipino, uh, mga pasaan-saan. Uh, mas uh, mas marami na mas marami na sasabi pareho sila pero para mas malinaw si Gary kaysa doon si kay kay ano pangalan nito si um, Sunny although si Sunny kasi ang siguro ang crowd niya kasi yung younger yung kumbaga yung mabagal lang hindi, hindi pa lang mabagal may kli lang ang attention span anyway so si Gary ay pangmatanda si Sunny ay para sa mga younger. Yan po mga kaibigan, again, dito sa The Kaibigan Podcast. At gusto po natin magpasalamat po sa inyo lahat for uh, joining us in in today's episode po. And we are very, very grateful as usual sa mga sinasabi po sa atin mga kaibigan mo na PPM po sa amin. We are very grateful. Wala kami tinawagan today because uh, we did a special on Gary Eats. Only on YouTube po yan. Gary Eats. Gary G-A-R-Y. Tapos another word, Eats. E-A-T-S. Gary Eats po siya. It's his um, a little bit more older po than the typical YouTuber po na ganyan. And then, uh, uh, palagi niya sinasabi yung, let's give it a go. So, yan po yan mga kaibigan. Again, uh, dito po yan sa The Kaibigan Network. Hope you support him po at it's really like a very good potential Uh, kung ako mga if if somebody here is from Jollibee management marketing and higher ups po um, napakagandang ano yan napakagandang confirmation na yung mga business plans is working yes po yan congratulations po sa Jollibee yes uh, lumalabas po ang Jollibee is a national champion for for the Philippines Like I said po, yung kinikita po ng mga Jollibee stores na yan, hopefully, in theory, bumabalik po yan sa Pilipinas. At uh, kung meron kayong mga stocks, mas malaki ang kinikita ng yung mga stocks, Jollibee stocks, every time maraming bumibili si Jollibee. Huwag lang babaguhin ng Jollibee yung, yung mga classification ng stock tsaka yung paano mag-split ng mga, ng mga dividends po. Pero under traditional definition po, every time na nakakakita ka ng... Jollibee na maraming tao lalo na sa abroad nakakatuwa po yan sa stocks mo Okay, so ladies and gentlemen maraming uh, tayong pinag-usaman today and we're Yes, mga kaibigan again uh, andito na tayo ulit sa part of the show na sinasabi natin na it's time to say goodbye Yes, mga kaibigan It's another episode, finish again in the can. Episode 25 na yata tayo. Yes, dito po sa The Kaibigan Network. Maraming maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat for being a good sport and being a good friend. Ang um, kaibigan po, for those who are, uh, are non-Filipino speakers, kaibigan means friend. So, we're supporting you all the way, mga kaibigan. Kung nasan man po kayo sulok ng mundo, Nasa dagat, sa bundok, sa gubat, sa disyerto, sa mga cities po, anywhere around the world. Maraming maraming.